you guys um i just want to do this quick video and give y'all five things that can make you feel more confident stay tuned so gem number one is create a routine okay so what makes you feel more confident about yourself is when you feel like you have a handle on things when you feel like things are really chaotic it's really hard to feel confident so get into a standardized routine so if you get up every day and you um have a face routine that you do do it every day um do that face routine if you have a habit of making tea in the morning or coffee do that every day if you meditate in the morning do that every day or pray or anything that you do habitually get into a certain flow get into a routine that you abide by and you stick by because it's going to make you feel good do something that makes you feel good so it could be writing in a journal as well so get into a habit get into a routine okay that's gem number one gem number two is for my ladies wear makeup i'm sorry y'all gonna be mad at me i don't care a lot of people are gonna disagree with me a lot of people are going to say oh my god i don't need makeup and the guys are gonna be like you don't need no makeup wear makeup <laughs> take some time to get yourself in order as you um wake up and start your day put um some effort into your appearance do something that makes you feel cute okay so even if you don't wear a whole lot put on some mascara honey put on a lip gloss put on some lipstick um get a foundation that matches you um put something on okay beautify yourself and people are like oh i'm already beautiful without it put it on and watch you be even more beautiful okay <laughs> not saying that people need makeup but it does um assist in one's confidence why because it makes you look like you put the extra effort into your appearance and trust me when I say it changes, it changes the game, y'all. It changes the game, all right? It changes everything. So wear makeup. Wear it. Even if it's like a slight beat, something real slight, okay? Just, just put it on. Put it on and watch you. Not, I'm not, let's not focus on what other people will see when they look at us. Let's focus on what you feel or how you feel about yourself once you put it on do it ladies do it and that's my second tip for you well my second gem <laughs> gem number three um invest in clothes that actually fit you and clothes that you feel good in um, let's stop walking around in tights and t-shirts and hoodies. Stop. Put some effort into, into the way you look every day. Every day when you walk out that house, it is a fashion show. You are on the runway, honey. You on the runway. Act like it. Okay? Act like it. <laughs> Go to, the, the thrift store has really, really nice stuff. Go to the thrift store. Um... I personally love Shein. Go on Shein. Um, there's so many different uh, websites and places that you can get really nice clothes that fit you, that look cute, and you feel good in. Okay? Like, put effort into the way that you... Yeah. Put effort into how you look, okay? It makes such a difference. That was my third gem. My fourth gem is take some time to self-reflect. So if you have a journal, I really, really, really suggest everybody getting a journal. Get a journal and write down your personality traits. Ask people in your life um, 
like ugh, ask them how they view you ask them what are your strong points ask them what are your weaknesses ask them certain things get a hold on how others perceive you and see how you perceive yourself if it's not the same then you need you need to do some real reflecting okay real reflecting don't focus too much on the positive or negative traits don't really um get too wrapped up in that just get the traits down don't put any emotion in the traits that people um tell you that they see in you don't don't take it personal don't do anything just write it all down and then after you get that long list of character traits and personality traits that you portray see how much it reflects you reflects see how much it reflects the person that you want to be and if it's not then that's when you make the slow the gradual change to um being the person that you want to be okay and it takes some real awareness and it takes some guts it takes you being honest with yourself and saying you know what i do talk too much I am a little bit feisty sometimes. <laughs> you have to be okay with that and use it to your advantage. Because sometimes those negative traits that people say are negative aren't really that bad. It could be just a little bit too extreme. So that's how you know, okay, well, let me dial this back a little bit. I'm not going to change who I am completely, but I'm going to be aware of how how I act, okay? Aware of what I'm saying, um aware of how people are perceiving me okay that is my gem number four the fifth gem is get out of your head get out of your head okay um learn how to be in the moment and this is probably the hardest gem because it's so easy to get wrapped up in our thoughts this was my favorite quote that I used to say to myself anytime I get into that mindset is that we suffer more in imagination than we do in reality. In our head, we literally will create like the worst experience possible. <laughs> like We really get so consumed in our own personal thoughts instead of just being in the moment and understanding that, hey, you know what? I create my own reality. You know what? I am the person that um, makes this situation good or bad. It's all up to me. And once you understand that, it's so easy to kind of get out of that negative mindset and then get into the actual present. It, gets, it just makes you snap out of it and just enjoy the moment that you're in. Um... There's a wonderful book that I absolutely love. It's called The Power of Now, The Power of Now by Eckhart. I think that's his name. Look that book up. Get it on Amazon. There's a Kindle version to it too. Get that book and read it. That is what I read and it made me change my whole perspective on how I thought about myself. You know? So yeah, that's about it. And that was my fifth gem. Hey, you guys. I know I said five gems, but, you know, I'm going to give y'all a sixth gem. This is a bonus gem. This is a bonus, okay? The bonus round or bonus gem is tell yourself yes. Tell yourself yes. Um, I know for a lot of us black women, we tend to be a lot more logical with everything <laughs> we're usually like oh no we don't need this oh no i don't think i should get that no oh no i have to think about the future and blah 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 tell yourself yes if you want something get it treat yourself obviously be mindful of um your responsibilities but if you have it and you like a certain item or um you want to do a certain thing do it Give yourself spa days. Go get your nails done. Get your toes done. Go get a facial. Do stuff. Treat yourself. Treat yourself how you would like somebody else to treat you. How you would treat your daughter. How you would treat people that you care about. We are not martyrs, y'all. 
We are not martyrs. Care about yourself. Treat yourself and prioritize yourself. Let's not put ourselves on the back burner anymore, okay? Let's not. All right? This your world. Treat it as such. Okay, that was my gems. Five, including a bonus, bonus gem. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any more little gems that you feel like helped you become a more confident individual, put them in the comments, y'all. Put them in the comments. I love, I love, I love advice. I love um, people helping each other and becoming the best versions that we should be. Okay, we are great. Okay, and we have to feel that internally. And with these gems, you will feel like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Bye.